Wilmington Grill Company proudly presents Chew, Chew on, on This. this. some stingrays. Awesome job, Brian. There you go, my man. That one there's probably 250. Oh, Good work, my man. Nice job. Awesome. Television with intensity. Your host, Captain Ben Chansey, invites you to come along for some line singing, leader free and tackle busting action. Chew on this. Hey, if big fish is what you're looking for, then you've come to the right fishing show. Giant Goliaths, monster snook, hungry man eating sharks, huge redfish, and big time tarpon. Chew, 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 chew on this. Fishing television with intensity. Are you ready for some of the most intense, highly entertaining? saltwater fishing you have ever seen. Then sit back, tighten up, and chew on this with Captain Ben Chansey. <laughs> well, you guys back at home, I don't know if you remember the show, but we had Brian Turner, the world's strongest man on the show. And we worked really, really hard, and he hooked some big fish, but we never brought one to the boat where we landed and got to see it. So I... I actually Facebook Brian the other day and I said, Brian, they've been eating good. Do you want to take a shot? He's like, when, Captain? When you want me there? So I said, all right, well, how does Friday sound? Well, today's Friday. So Brian said, I'll be there. He brought his little guys with him. We're going to go after some stingrays today and we're going to go after the giant Goliath. You all ready? I'm ready to go. Man, I'm glad to have you back on the boat again. Likewise, and this time they're not going to beat me. That's right. We're going to get it done this time. So you guys stay tuned. We're going to be right back. But uh, I think we're going to have a good show today. I got a great guy on the board. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good show. So you guys stay tuned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Here you go, Ray. Come on. What happens when you snag them? You know, it's, it's just animals, so sometimes the hook will pull, that type of deal. So you just want to pull them in nice and firmly. All right, you got to go that way. But look, keep putting your pressure to the right, okay? Right, there you go, right. Now go to the back of the boat. Run to the back of the boat. Go to the back of the boat. Fast, fast. Keep your line tight, keep your line tight. There you go, good job. That, that's okay. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Reel down, or pull. Now reel down, reel down. Oh, you're doing good, babe. You're doing a good job. All right, go down again. Come on. There you go. Look at that, you guys. Another fat ray. Check her out. Oh, she even ate that one. She, she was hungry. All right. 
that ray is whooping your butt. <laughs> well, he, your son's gonna go home sore. I know. At least he's got some <laughs> All right, rid out, rid out. Come on, come on. Now you get my head to fall over the motor. Go, 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 go. All right, reel down again. Pull. Reel down again. Reel down again. Do it again. All right, now keep his head up. There you go. Now to keep his head up, keep his head up. There you go. Keep it just like that. Now, now reel down real fast. Reel down. All right, keep your reel down. No, no, come keep your rolling. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. We go, you guys. Here's another fat one. Yeah, go ahead. Let's get that barb off. We don't want this to sting us right here. Get that out of there. Now, I told you that he might get off. This one wasn't getting off. This one here ate that treble hook really nice. I never knew stingrays like weighted, you know, hooks so much. He was hungry, huh? Good. We looking good, you guys. Brian, you ready? Sweet. It's going to be nice. Yeah, you guys think he's ready? Look at it. You're welcome, Brian. Yeah. I think he's ready. I'm ready. I'm rooting for him. That's three. We, we're still greedy. We're going to try a couple more while we see them. Because once they're gone, they're, hard, they're real that... hard to get a hold of. We had to work two hours this morning. We didn't get any. So uh, right now, we are happy. This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. So Brian, how in the world did you ever get started with the world's strongest man? Oh, long story. I was a power lifter for a lot of years. I was ranked number one in the world, under 23 at that. But then I didn't make any money, so I moved from there to some Highland Games, and then from Highland Games to Strongman. Really? That's kind of neat. What made you decide to start lifting, you know, like Atlas stones and you know, how did how did that come about, you know? The Highland Games. It's really? uh, the, the Atlas stones are actually called McLashan stones and they originated in Scotland. Mm -hmm. So the, the world's strongest man Atlas stones is a, an offbeat of that called the Atlas stones. So we were doing it first in Scotland. Really? <laughs> so you guys originated, huh? Yes. <laughs> That's why we're so good at it. Well, what's your favorite event? Uh, anything pressing. I like any pressing events. And the stones, I like the stones. Really? You like that one where they throw the beer kegs over the thing? No. No? Yeah. And they can do that, it's not a strongman event. Oh, really? A strongman event should be something that your average Joe public couldn't do. Uh -huh. I'm sure there's guys out there that can throw a beer keg 14 feet in the air. <laughs> it's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, you know what's real impressive to see those guys squat all that weight? Like when they squat a car and they start adding all that yeah. stuff on top of it? Yeah. I'm like, wow. What, what impressive sort of guys. He was hungry, huh? Come on, Brian. Get down. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Brian. Pass. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a big one. I told you we got monsters in here. Look, you guys. Brian didn't do nothing wrong. Check it out what it did to that hook just now. These are the same monsters we fished with Captain Eric Menino on that show we did on ESPN. And they kept bending our hooks out, too. So this time I got something for them. We're gonna go double 20 aughts on them. We're gonna see how that works, because we got more than one way to do this. All right, so I'm gonna re-rig this, you guys. So Brian, what are you gonna do this time? I'm gonna put right out the water. You gonna put him in? Oh, he's getting it. Double hooked, 1,300 pound line. Ha ha ha. There's no escaping this time. Hey, I knew this time I had to, uh, I had to bring extra special tackle for the uh, World Strongman, you know? Yeah. Last time, the 600-pound test line, it didn't even reach your bench press. Then he cut it. Didn't uh. even re reach your bench press, so well. I had to uh, bring better. All right, you guys, here's what we got going on. I want to say I bought this from Ace Hardware, and I think it's like 12 or 1,300 pounds. Actually, no, I didn't get it at Ace. I actually got it at West Marine. And uh, I think it's like 1,200 or 1,300 pound stainless steel cable. And the reason why we started going with this particular setup is, you know, lots of days the bite's awesome. 
and people catch more fish than they want to and they quit early. Some days when it's not like that, you only get a couple of good bites, you don't want your tackle breaking. Well this way it kind of eliminates the problem of us having line breaking. When you got a 1300 pound stainless steel cable, a little tough for the guys to break it. So that way if you're a rookie at it and you don't know exactly how to fight them, it doesn't mess you up quite as bad as it does if you got mono and they take you into the pilings. You see how I'm setting this particular setup? We got double hook, double 20 aught hooks, circle hooks. And then what I'm gonna do is take this, run it back through the hooks again, like so. You can leave it there. Oh, I see where it's at. I run it back through the hooks just like this. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to create myself a multi loop knot or a loop around the hooks. I got a quadruple, triple loop. I just bent the single 20 knot, so now we're going to try for the double 20 knot. You ready? Now back up, back up, back up, back up. Don't. Oh. Oh. Ah, come on. You guys, man. Like I was saying, 1,200 pound test cable. And they're pulling so hard. And he's strong enough to pull back hard enough that the cable's even breaking on the bridge pilings. And he's putting, I wouldn't doubt if he's putting 1,000 pounds of pressure on it, you guys. And he's breaking the cable. There's a monster down here. Back before they got rid of the old bridge, when they were building this new bridge, uh, we were fishing the old bridge pilings, and uh, some divers go, hey, uh, you need to fish over here, you're fishing small ones. And uh, we were catching three, 400 pounders, which were awesome, big, gigantic fish to us. They go, there's a 900 pounder over here at least. He's twice, two and a half times the size of those you're catching. I think he moved to this piling after, uh, after that, but uh, I'm not sure, but Hopefully Brian can get it done. We're going to try it again. You guys stay tuned. This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Come on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get off, get off. Wait a second. There you go, you got it. Come on, Brian. Come on, Brian. Get, get your butt down. There you go, baby. We're going to get here, Brian. You got to stand up on me. You got to stand up on me. You got to stand up on me. Come on. All right, stand up for me, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, stand up. Yeah, stand up, Brian. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go, Brian. Come on. Put down. Put down. Good job. Good job, my man. Good job. Come on. Come on. Put, put down. Put down. There you go. All right. Stop pulling. There you go. Look at that, you guys. Nice one. Nice one. Nice. Nice, <laughs> nice start, my man. Woo, he got us in there pretty good. <laughs> but we got him out. Yeah! Start off with about a, well, between 80 and 100 pounds. It's a good start. He popped that good. Awesome, my man. Good job, baby. Easy. <laughs> That's a baby. Yeah, let's get this one off and let's go for the big baddie. The big bat one. All right, all right, hold this. Hold it out a little bit for me. Give it a stand over here, hold it out for me. Oh. Right. About time, huh? Here we go. All right, you guys. That's a nice sweetie right here. Come on, take a look. Take a closer look, you guys. She's all fired up. There we go. Look at her. We're gonna let her go. Nice one. Baby fish. Not a baby. Juvenile. Like one of these teenagers you got on the boat. Yeah. Freshman. Oh. One of these freshmen you brought with you. That's what that's kind of like right there. You ready for the bigger bait? Hell yeah. All right, let's go. This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Was that a big one, Brian? 
Yeah. <laughs> Reel down a little bit more and then move it so, yeah. And then give it some line so it sinks in that space. This is my bowl. Right, 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 move your right tip right, Brian. Okay, room goes, here he comes. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on, Brian, stand up, baby, put your weight on him! You guys, stand up, get off the boat! Here it comes, you guys, look over the side, look over the side, you guys, look over the side! <laughs> nice! Come on! Alright, Brian, check out Brian, look at Brian! <laughs> come on, baby! Yeah! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Good job, my man! Good job, boy! <laughs> Way to take care of him, my man! <laughs> ah, you bastard! Fucking cow! Oh. Hell yeah! All right, stand up, Brian. <laughs> we got a cramp. <laughs> That's a big one. Good job. Hey. Well, he's got me, one of the two. Okay, give me some slack. Let's get this off of here. Oh, he bastard. Did he wear you out, Brian? Oh. <laughs> There you go, my man. Check out, get a closer shot of their mouth, you guys. Look at that mouth. That's a big one, eat some stingrays. Awesome job, Brian. There you go, my man. That one there's probably 250. Good work, my man. Nice job. Awesome. What do you think about that, huh? What I thought. Easier than what you thought? Oh, why were you sitting down on the job? It cramped my stock. Sitting down on the job. Hey, I only need to sit then. It wasn't that tough. <laughs> you didn't have to stand for that one. That's what you're telling me, huh? Yeah. But everybody that heard all them gruntings, I don't think they're going to believe you. <laughs> I, gr I grunt the 50 pun in the gym. <laughs> This segment is being brought to you by the Wilmington Grill Company, specializing in stainless steel barbecue grills made in the USA. Well, you know, I was watching the strongman competition when I knew Brian was going to come back. You know, I started seeing those guys pull things. Like, you guys pull semis and crazy yeah. stuff, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, I've pulled semis, I've pulled trains, I've pulled boats. <laughs> and that's funny because, you know, we've heard all kind of names for the Goliaths. They've been called Volkswagen bugs. They've been called all kind of things. You know, it's like hooking into a car and all that kind of stuff. Well, now that you had a chance to see what it's like, what do you, what can you equate it to anything that you've done previously? It's, I mean, the pull hard, but I mean, it's just awkward. It's something that obviously is a. A strong man, it's not an exercise that I do. Uh -huh. So you're using different muscles and you know you're cramping up and all that sort yeah. of stuff. I mean yeah. it's like anything, it's just different. I mean don't get me wrong, we do pull hard, but I've had harder things to pull. Oh <laughs> I know, you know, and, and you guys at home, if you've seen the strongman competitions, you know those guys do amazing things where you look at and say, I couldn't do the lightest thing that they're doing, much less the heaviest. Yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, it's a different experience coming fishing. I mean, a lot of guys should come and try it because it is, it's different. I mean, a fish is 350 pound or 250 pound. It's tough. They pull hard. It's, it's amazing to get that much force under the water. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, they're, they're pulling me and, and obviously, as you, as you saw in the show, I mean, I was on my, my backside two or three times. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's no small feat, let me tell you. It makes it fun though, that's entertaining. Oh, it is entertaining. I mean, it just makes you more determined to get the fish. And it's, I mean, you can understand how fishing's addictive for that sort of stuff's going on. Exactly. And you know what's kind of cool? Today we worked hard. I want to say we worked hard to get our bites. We got our bites, but we didn't get them as often as we'd normally like to. 
But the ones we got were really monsters, weren't they? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we snapped that 1300 pound line and we bent the hook. I mean, <laughs> it's fun. It's frustrating, but it's fun. <laughs> and then the first bait we dropped down today, you guys, we dropped it down, it fell down into the pilings. It got eaten, jerked me down, the very first bait. And then we went for a cold spell for a while, dry spell, didn't we? Yeah, we did. But we got there in the end. Yeah. I mean, we, we got some, there must have been some big fish there to do what they done. <laughs> it was. That, like I said, that particular piling, we haven't been able to line, land fish off of that yet. Yeah. As big as he is, you know, he was able to put enough pressure and he actually broke the cable and bent the hook. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, but the fish still went and never landed it. <laughs> Some of these days I'm going to get that fish. Uh, well, well, we always, this is one of my favorite shows to do, you guys, because I've got a great athlete on the boat who has the muscles to really battle these fish, unlike anyone in the world. So when he comes down, I always want to try to put him on the biggest ones possible. And uh, for the next show, you know, I'll even, uh, if I don't have bigger ones, I'll even try to have some better equipment so we don't get broke off. I don't know what we're going to do, but yeah. we're going to figure something out. We'll figure something out for the next time. Let's see if we kind of land a wrecked Goliath. <laughs> exactly. Like I said, there's 900 pounder down there according yeah. to the divers. Well, by the time we get there, it'll be a thousand. <laughs> you guys, I had a great time today. Brian, it was awesome, ben, my man. Awesome, what a great day. <laughs> it was awesome. We had his kids on the boat, and uh, they got to catch the stingrays, and I think they had a good time with that. It really helped us out. So I want to tell Dylan and Grant, we appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, boys. Glad you were able to bring them. And you guys, like I always say, when you see that big fish, whether it's a stingray or a goliath, what are you supposed to tell them? Chew on this. Chew on this, you guys. Godspeed, and we'll see you the next show.